Okay, now we're gonna look at some problems using Euler's number, uh, specifically the natural exponential function, which is this function right here, uh, f of x is equal to e to the x. And so this letter e is actually a number, uh, and as far as numbers go in math, it's a pretty interesting one, but we won't talk too much about it. Um, but you need to find it on your calculator. So uh, search for the number e on your calculator. Uh, you'll either see e by itself or it will look like e to the x power um, because a lot of times we will use this with an exponent so your calculator gives you that shortcut um, the e it's an irrational number uh, it's a little bit like pi in that regard it just it's a repeating decimal that goes forever uh, and it's 2.71828 uh, and then it continues on um, and on um, you can either use the decimal um, in decimal version of it or probably the best thing is to find that e button in your calculator and use that um, and so we're going to do some problems that have e in it uh, the one we're going to look at is just a graph so if you want to graph f of x is equal to e to the x minus 2 um, the good news uh, for this is it's just an exponential function so it's going to be a lot like what we did um, in 4.1 except here the base is e uh, but the shift is the same so this will go down to uh, this also has a horizontal asymptote at 2 or sorry at negative 2 and we can plot this graph So just like any other exponential function, oops, oh no, how do I get rid of that? Okay, I think I got this figured out now. Um, okay, so just like any other exponential function, we have this kind of starting point or this initial value at 0, 1, but then we're going to shift it around. So here we're going to shift this down 2, which gives us a point on the graph of 0, negative 1. Um, my horizontal asymptote goes through negative 2. And then e is bigger than 1. It's 2.718, so this is exponential growth. So this curve will come through this point and then it will get bigger and bigger. If you want to put um, some more points, you can plug in some values for x and approximate them, but really the only thing that we're gonna require is just one point in the horizontal asymptote. It's also always good to talk about domain and range. So let's talk about that for just a minute. Uh, domain is the same with every exponential function. It goes forever to the left and forever to the right, and so the domain is all real numbers. And then range is always from the bottom to top, all the way down, all the way up. Well, the lowest this graph gets is negative 2, but it doesn't touch negative 2. Um, and then the highest it gets is 2 infinity. Uh, it goes up forever, and so our range is from negative 2 to infinity.